Alright, so right now we're just BSing about like how books based in real life and stuff like that. And we're talking about um, Superman. So anyway, going back to it. So I'm not trying to take a jab at, um, at uh, Texas right now or anything like that. But they also were told, like especially Houston, they were told by their governor not to evacuate or they can't evacuate or some crap like that. Uh, because it's going to cause hazard. And years ago when they had a, a similar situation, people died on the highway and stuff like that. Because there was too many people trying to get out the um, state or... Not state, um, at the um, half the storm. Yeah, uh, get out of Houston or um, other part of Texas, whatever. Anyway, so yeah, if, according to like Krypton, that's that's still different because they have it's a damn planet and they have spaceships and they can go. Not not at the same time. It's just Krypton is basically it's similar to um, Earth. Like not every Earthling is a scientist. Not every Earthling is super strong, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Some people are just regular people. So, but at the same time, Krypton is an advanced species, or was an advanced species, yeah. so they are smarter than us, but it's still, like, we're basically, we're smarter than animals, so, yeah. kind of sort of like that. I mean, I think on Krypton, they have a trace amount of Krypton, um, Kryptonite to keep their, I guess keeping the check, keeping the check, because things without mm-hmm. Kryptonite, they probably would have been powerful, right? Nah, it's, um, oh, that's the star. it's a red sun, uh, they have a red sun, we have a yellow sun. Oh, that's the So, the red sun gives, I think it takes away, it, <sighs> So that means that star either was bigger than ours. Yeah. Oh, that shit was getting ready to blow up anyway in a couple of big, a million years or so. Yeah, because uh, I think their their days last like double our days or something like that. So, like, you could do get a lot of crap done. But granted, if you want to compare it to human life, then instead of working eight hours as a regular person, you probably work 16 hours. And well, I'm pretty still sure, like, like, these Kryptonians, when they traveled to space, I'm pretty sure they actually came across a yellow star on the circle of the planet other than Earth, they would have found out, oh yeah, we get powers we stay up in this. Yeah, day. and I think that's why they knew to send them to Earth. And again, it's different, like, different canons and what you want to, like, associate with. Like, according to Smallville canon, uh, I'm pretty sure it wasn't one of the comic books as well, um, one of the Kryptonians visited uh, Earth, like, a long time ago, and they're like, oh yeah, we have power. So they're like, oh, hey, guess what? we're going to send you to this planet with um, a yellow sun. But, um, Ah, damn it! One of Superman's uh, foes, um, Mongrel, Mar- Mongrel. Damn, I can never say his name right. Mongrel. He also comes from a planet with um, a red sun, and he also gets power, powers, quote unquote, powers from a yellow sun. Like he gets um, enhanced strength, but it's not he's not even close to um, as much as Superman. So there are people in DC, the DC universe itself, that have um, that become better due to different environments. And the same thing, you can even go into, like, Dragon Ball Z, because mm-hmm. I've always wanted to go to, like, a hyperbolic time chamber in Dragon Ball Z or something like that, or, like, a, a gravity chamber where the gravity is heavier to see if I can survive at least, like, five minutes from it, because they, um, on their planet, on um, Planet Vegeta, which was used to be Planet Plant, long well, sorry, it's, it's stupid. Anyway, Planet Vegeta, um, the gravity is heavier on Planet Vegeta, so that's and also the fact that the Saiyan race, um, they are basically, they're cool because they can adapt to almost any environment the and thrive. Is it. Heavier than even without their powers, they still be stronger than humans. Yeah, yeah, be, yeah. Much so they stronger. can kill us. So especially when they come down to Earth, that's why I think that's one. I'm not sure. I didn't read all the mangas and I watched the regular TV show, but again, dubbing and subbing plus the manga weight. They're slightly different to drastically different, but I would say just take an educated guess because Planet Vegeta has a heavier gravity on them. Once they get over here, they can just fucking fly. The sun has nothing to do with it, even though everyone everyone can pay. Well, and also uh, Goku was kind of uh, Goku and Superman are basically similar anyway because of their origin and everything. So that's why. But unlike Superman, Goku doesn't get his powers from the sun. He gets his powers from being a Saiyan because I think they can fly. I thought he got his powers from what they call Prana because I remember um, like we were fighting all the different um, I think what Shinrons yeah the one of Shinrons um, was actually kind of polluting the air and I know that Goku lost his powers it, it's uh, yeah that's so true like, that is true he does get his he, it, it, it's true he so does he gets powers from a different source so. somewhat it is true I forgot in GT but again GT's not canon and everybody hates GT but I forgot about that too so I think Goku to a certain point does get somewhat of a power boost from the sun because also the movies aren't canon as well um, a couple of times he that's the case that you can probably take down Goku it's not you know how to zap his, his ability to use his powers uh, it'd be kind of hard though not really because again his far because unlike Superman if you would just like uh, hit something because uh, um, also for example 
in Two Man Anime series, um, they it was this um, episode in which um, one of Superman's previous foes came back. He made this machine to block out the sun, and Superman slowly but surely started losing his powers, like his strength, his flight ability, his leg, his laser beam, etc., etc. Um, so it could happen to Superman if you take out the uh, yellow sun or our yellow sun or any yellow sun, or whatever. But for Goku, it's not really going to necessarily affect him directly because he still would have his power. He's just not going to be as strong. But again, this is according to GT canon, not overall canon. Yeah, maybe they should have done. Maybe should they should have made GT um, canon. Everyone's uh, only only a few small oh, people made a video game because some of the episodes I saw with GT, I like. This is a concept more of a video game than it is a show. Yeah, I, I it would have been a good video game like that, but. They, Wait, they, yeah, I think they did make it's, it's some of the stuff is in uh, the video game too. But I personally like GT. A lot of people hated GT. Um, a lot of people love Super, which I don't understand. Super is trash compared to uh, GT. Well, I would say I would say both of them are not good. If you want to, just my personal opinion, Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z. That's what they, they should just stop. GT is unnecessary evil that I like. Super is super unnecessary evil that I don't like. Um, and just according to those canons, yeah, like, I would say, it's like, Super Saiyan uh, 4 uh, form also has to do with similar to the sun or whatever, but at the same time, um, the Azuru uh, form or the giant ape form, you it has to look at, uh, like, the moon or something spherical in the sky that gives them uh, the Bluxing waves or whatever to transform them and stuff like that, so... That's I don't know. That's I'm going way too far in Nerdville. Um, they do they be doing too much with all that power, with all that transforming. Like I'm like, bro, how do you close transform with you? That's <laughs> also an issue too. I think it's in it's in uh, the Master Guide of uh, Dragon Ball uh, Z and GT. Uh, how his um, clothes go from the way they are, um, what his regular base form to how they are in G, um, Super Saiyan Four form. But I, I forgot what it said. Um, but even going to like another superhero, like um, like you said earlier about Spider Man. Yeah, his um. The reason why he can keep webbing around New York City is because, yeah, like I said, um, the the web dissolve. What is it? One hour or three hours? I forgot. But it right, eventually like a lot of webs instantaneously or something. Yeah, I mean, he has to. It's been in, like a couple comic books and even in uh, TV shows in which he like ran out of webbing because uh, he forgot to restock or some crap like that, and it kind of screwed him over. But luckily, because of the plot, he was able to survive and continue on doing stuff. He got spider senses though. I mean, what do a spider sense? I mean, it's, uh, those are more like cat senses. Yeah, because I always wonder, like, I don't think spiders have senses like that. No, they don't, but I've seen a lot of spiders. They don't hop around. That's that's more of a cat. And, um, Spider-Man. But they couldn't call him Catman, because that sounds gay. No, it is a Catman, but that's in D.C., so. My, okay, all these superheroes, man. Why they gotta have? Why they gotta dress up in costumes? Have these ridiculous names that call themselves around there fighting crime and have other bad guys who are doing the exact same thing fighting them? Like we think about the whole concept of, I would say the whole uh, superhero versus supervillain. It to me is ridiculous. I mean, why? I mean, it, it doesn't seem to I me. Mean, it's it, to me it's ridiculous. Like you wouldn't, you would never see nothing like that happen for real. I, I mean, I, I, it'd be far fetched to see somebody like if I'm tired of all the street stuff going on the streets. They go put on a Halloween costume and go fight everybody. I'm like, bro, you gonna get shot? Now, what make what make probably make more sense to me if it was something like maybe uh, somebody who actually had training, maybe a police officer or maybe an organization is, that um, trains people mm-hmm. or even a, or somebody who's at maybe military. Now that would make sense to me. Okay, I can see you using military tactics to fight crime, but then then and again, like crime goes on anyway. You can fight this. You can, Bring this person down, bring that person down, it's still gonna be crime going on. So you're not really making much of a dent. I'm glad we're talking about this because I was um, watching. I'm watching uh, both Super uh, Smallville and uh, the Batman uh, old Kids WB TV show from the um, early 2000s. And um, I left off on an episode last night. Um, it's called Rumor, and pretty much, I mean, it goes side to side with uh, the Dark Knight uh, movie too. Um, not not side to side, whatever. But basically. Um, at one point in time, uh, a, a caller called into like a radio show or a, 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 a news broadcast, whatever, and, and they were giving their views of how they feel about this new vigilante called Rumor. Um, and say, and one guy was like, "Yeah, I'm glad he, he showed up because Batman's not doing a job." And one was like, "Oh yeah, these jo- these crazy psychopaths didn't exist until jo- um, Batman got here." And yeah, it, um, 
they, if you actually watch uh, The Dark Knight, um, it's actually true because um, it's an evolution, basically, because without the Batman existing, then crime would be just petty, petty crime, such as, um, like, yeah, robbery, uh, rape, which is not really petty, it's terrible, yeah. murder is still terrible, um, and just uh, some of the, like, not low level, but not like world changing stuff, as you said. Um, it's just, it's just like person from person to like a significant group of people level, whatever. But when you hit the Batman and the Justice League and other and like X Men from a different universe, from Marvel Comics, whatever, you hit those like level of, uh, of of beings to stop crime, whatever. That's when crime has to evolve. Like everything has to have its balance. And since the balance was, and especially in Gotham, was like evil way evil doers whatever was taken over like raping murdering gambling stealing etc on those uh, local level of crimes then somebody had to be bigger and badder than them to take over the people that couldn't do anything so Batman came into came into the picture and then Batman was taken over making everybody scared and whatever and no crime like city was getting safer and safer and then people were like you know what we want to go back to doing crimes we're gonna somebody else bigger and badder of uh, those criminals came up um uh, I'm not sure if it was the Joker to, to start it off with, but the most famous person will be the Joker. So this lunatic, or some people say he's sane, he's so sane that he's insane, came up and he evolved criminal activity to a next level of mass uh, homicides on a crazy number of scales with his freaking crazy antics of, of doing crimes or whatever. Um, and then even worse people came, showed up well, with, with, with better powers or worse powers, whatever way you want to see it. Like um, Mr. Freeze, even though depends on what Kenny you're talking about he's not necessarily evil he's just misunderstood whatever uh Poison Ivy which is an ego terrorist which again I'm kind of on her side but not she's way too crazy um and just people like that Scarecrow is literally a fucking villain like yeah but yeah, so then even more uh, evolution would have to come in like well Superman already has his own city to take care of but you know what I mean like each things have to keep trying to outdo each other and that's where the superheroes come out so if you had a real life crap so that's why like Kick-Ass uh, the comic book and movie came out and it depicts what would really happen if people try to become superheroes um, Big Daddy was a, a cop so he already had training and he became a temporary superhero okay and, and okay real life scenario like people trying to be a superhero or even a super villain um, my thing is if you could if you could be a, a real life villain what type of villain would you be? Not superhero, but a villain. Because everybody uh, wants to be superhero. No, because, I don't know. I, because, wait, wait, wait. I have to be real, based in real life. Like, I don't have any powers. Okay, suppose... Okay, um, you ain't going to have no superpowers. Like, because you're human. Yeah, obviously. But you would have resources. You would have resources. You would have access to technology. Hmm. So, okay, what Okay, what type of... My thing is, what type of technology would you like to have access to? And, and what would you do? That is, I don't know, because I'm, I'm such a petty person. Like, right now, I'm like, uh, when I drive, and even when I'm uh, doing my posts outside, I just see a lot of people not putting their damn signal on. So, we're just at the top of my head. Um, <laughs> I'm turning signals. It annoys the hell out of me. Like, I'm on the road. Like, I'm driving people, especially uh, my girlfriend's always in a car with me or whatever. So, she sees me, and she's annoyed with me, like, constantly, like, what are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? Put your damn signal on. What are you doing? Like, it just anno- I know it annoys the hell out of me. But it annoys me that I have to keep saying this, because it anno- it's just annoying. So, um... You probably have a full horn on your... On your or how about like, <laughs> loud speakers that cops have, like, they tell, like, put on your damn feet. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I, don't I, I don't think average people... I don't think average people can have those in their car. No, you, you can't. It's illegal. Um, I, well, resources... Can <laughs> you um, imagine if we did? If we could have those. <laughs> it, I'll, I'll be Hopefully very... have an argument. I, I'll be a very uh, dangerous person. Uh, they, they'd probably shoot me. But, um... <laughs> you to talk your shit? Huh. I... It's really hard. Um, ah, man, that's, huh, I, I'm, basically, I guess I would, um, that's, I don't know, you go, I, I can't think of anything. Wow. That would be just, because you have to be, because, yeah, you, you're like, I'm, I don't, I'm not a rapist, I'm not a murderer or anything like that, and I'm oh, not a thief, me. so it would just be something to uh, make people, okay, Okay, me as a supervillain, what would I want to do? You know what? Uh, I would decide because the thing is, I want to build my own country. Mm. That's what I would want to do. So, so be like Doctor Doom, <laughs> the new Liberia. Yeah, but I want like build my own country. So I always think I gather all this, like all the money and um, 
our resources and technology I would need to build advanced six. And the question I had to ask, like, where I want